Multiple running back ones could be out this week and a gutted Falcons passing game. Welcome to the Football Guys Injury Report for Week 5. I'm Chad Parsons. Starting at quarterback, however, Jimmy Garoppolo is out. Trey Lance seeing his first NFL start versus the Cardinals. Lance is in the quarterback 10 to 15 range versus Arizona. And remember, he posted nearly 200 total yards and two touchdowns in a half of play against the Seattle Seahawks. At the running back position, Joe Mixon likely to miss week five. Uh, Samaj P. Ryan would be a low running back two or flex. And look for Chris Evans to potentially be in that pass centric role. Christian McCaffrey also likely out. Chuba Hubbard is in that running back two or flex conversation at football guys with the current projections for week five against the Eagles. Uh, they had clear catch up mode versus the Cowboys, and that saw Rodney Smith playing in relief of Chuba Hubbard, who also looked good on early touches. We have Dalvin Cook, game time decision with an ankle injury. He didn't practice all week. Alexander Madison, who saw 32 touches for 171 total yards in th week three, filling in for an inactive Dalvin Cook, would be the main benefactor. Cook projected as an elite running back one option. Alexander Madison would be tough to bench if Cook is out. Chase Edmonds, and this is a big one, with a shoulder and looking like a game time decision. We have Edmonds and James Conner. They've been in a firm committee over the opening month. Conner, more rushing centric, and Edmonds has been the preferred passing option. Edmonds is a top 12 projection by football guys if he plays, but Connor can vault into auto start status instead of his typical what the heck flex zone if Edmonds is active. Moving on to other positions that we're going to monitor going into the weekend and especially on game day. Cortland Sutton rolled his ankle in practice. He is one to monitor for Denver's passing game. Also, Calvin Ridley and Russell Gage with an early kickoff you need to monitor for those lineup decisions are also confirmed as out for the Atlanta Falcons passing game. They may feature more Cordero Patterson, which is hard to believe as he's been a touchdown and production maven on his touches in the opening month. Mike Davis, as well as potentially the best game yet for Kyle Pitts. Devontae Parker, another game time decision. And then George Kittle is doubtful for week five as some of the critical watches. As always, make sure you follow Gene Bramble's top-notch injury content throughout the week at footballguys.com with Monday, midweek, and now game day articles that you need to know for week five, and those are updated all the way until kickoff. I'm Chad Parsons. Thanks for watching, and good luck this week.